first step in finding your true life purpose is naming something that you want to manifest right now in your life and just write that down in your journal and write down what it means on a tangible and concrete level. So example, if you want peace in your family, write that down, write down, I want a peace in my family, but also write down the tangible, concrete manifestation of that. How would getting what you want make you feel? So imagine yourself getting this thing that you want. All of a sudden you have it. What's your initial gut reaction? Okay, then after you have that gut reaction, what's your next reaction? And then what's your reaction after that? I want to give you an example because sometimes you think getting what you want is you think it'll make you happy. Yes and no. Yes and no. Sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't. So let me give you an example. One person, I'm going to call him Aaron, who did this exercise wrote, he wanted a building that he owned to sell in a down market. And then it did. And instead of being relieved, he went out and he smoked crystal meth. So it turns out he was married to his stress. You know, stress keeps keeps him on his toes. Without stress, he falls apart. So in other words, stress actually makes him happy. And without that stress, he's not happy. So in Aaron's case, iron sharpens iron. Money, which is made of paper, burns quickly. If you manifest your abundance, but you're not aligned with your abundance emotionally, you're going to sabotage it. So what you wrote down in your journal are your abundance feelings. So if you feel these feelings, it will help you attract your abundance. And so this might take you a little while to write down, but in your journal, you have to write down, I might not be ready, but I'm willing to feel energized or I'm willing to feel busy or I'm willing to feel happy about my kids coming over or my kids calling and that's why I'm manifesting and then write down what you're manifesting so you don't actually have to feel these feelings to attract your abundance you just have to be willing to feel them. And then the universe will line up opportunities for you to feel them. You can take the opportunity or you can pass. But as long as you stay willing to feel them, the universe will keep lining up the opportunities for you to feel them. Does that make sense? The point is not to immediately go out into life and force yourself to feel these abundance feelings. That's not the point. The point is to be willing to feel them. And then you let life make you feel them. The point is for you to be open to all the possibilities out there. There isn't one way to feel happy or one way to feel joyful or relaxed. It turns out that stress can make certain people feel alive. And if that's you, the universe will place a crazy challenge in front of you and then set it up so that you magically overcome that challenge. And that combination of stress and winning is what makes you truly happy. So you have to put yourself in a position where the universe can set you up. And being willing to feel something very specific, which is your abundance feelings, is how you let the universe know, okay, God, set me up. We're just doing the setup here. We're just setting everything up. 